Don't tell me you've never broken into school before. I've never broken into school Fancy another bus than British Columbia. Dude, she's not from British Columbia, she's from Alberta. <laughs> Actually, I'm from Alabama. Sounds like Alberta to me. Sweet home. Dude, pass me the case, let me roll the next one. Dude, where'd you find this, man? Oh, in my parents' old junk. What is it? It's one of Mr. Grunwald's old end of the summer party invitations. Who's Mr. Grunwald? Oh, some crazy ass old man. My mom used to tell me bedtime stories about him. The way my mom used to talk about him, he's a lunatic. 19 Richmond? That's my new address. <laughs> oh, man. That house is haunted. Does it smell like cheese? <laughs> what? Does your, your house, does it smell like cheese? What? Back in the days, Mr. and Mrs. Grunwald would have a party in the neighborhood on the last day of the summer every year. It was supposed to be a potluck, but everyone came just for the woman's pies. It was more like an eat and run. Apparently she made these crazy ass pies. Blueberry and goat cheese. So, one year, she died. And Mr. Grunwald sent out the invitations again saying that it would be her will that he continue their tradition. <laughs> What's so funny? No one showed up. Why? Because he was a crazy ass old man, that's why. She probably only had those parties in the neighborhood to let everyone know that she was still alive. Pfft, he was probably a wife beater. Yeah, a total pedophile. A wife beater is not a pedophile. Anyways, the guy was convinced that the reason that no one was coming to his party was because he wasn't able to recreate exactly the same pies his wife used to make. So he spent the entire next year working on his pies. He was completely obsessed with them. Our grandparents used to sneak around his house. They'd take the pies he kept throwing out, bring them back home for dessert. Apparently his backyard was full of pies. Then the summer after his wife died, he sent out the invitations again. No one came? It was a new thing then. Transportable fairs? The Wesleys, the family across from his place, they'd just gotten their hands on one. After that summer, he worked more than ever on his pies, still convinced that's why the village wasn't coming. Every last day of summer, he'd still put out the long table, set out the napkins and cutlery, and then he'd take out his armchair and wait. Then this one time, 16 years later, on the last day of summer, the entire village was at the Wesleys, as usual, when they heard some music coming from across the field. He'd gotten himself a transportable fare, but 16 years later? Did the village go? <laughs> no one was impressed by a transportable fare anymore. But what about the pies? No one cared about the pies. I mean, they didn't care if they were exactly the same as the wives. They tasted like blueberries and goat cheese, for Christ's sake. Anyway, that's not the point. The old man saved that money for 16 years for a transportable fare, man. What happened to him? He died. He probably just died after eating pie for 16 years. I mean, obesity is a bitch. I heard that his goat got tired of him and gave him some spoiled cheese. <laughs> he probably just hanged himself up. Well, I don't know, maybe he fell off the ladder when he was going up to the goat barn. He was getting pretty damn old. Yeah, goat pretty barn is a fat. What are you talking about? Of course you keep the goats upstairs.